Hey everybody, welcome to Shooting Gear Reviews, straight up guns and gear reviews. Today we are checking out the Daisy 880 BB and pellet rifle multi-pump. This is taking me back many years right here to uh, the days of my youth, 11, 12 years old, running around the woods with a good old Daisy pump and uh, of course getting into lots of trouble. We're going to try not to get into too much trouble today, but we are going to do a review for you guys of this very classic Daisy BB gun. As you can see, of course, I've got it way over scoped. That's sort of my style, but makes it easier for me to show you guys the groups and the performance of this guy. Obviously, this is a multi-pump BB gun, so we're not looking for super high performance, but this thing is a performer and a very versatile, very fun BB gun. So with no further ado, let's check it out. Here we are. Daisy 880 BB pellet rifle. Ah, oh, yeah. And that, in case you're wondering, is the ATN X Sight LTV 5 to 15 on top of there that I will be filming the groups for you guys today. Let's go get it done. So after I noticed those first couple of shots falling just a little bit low and to the right, I corrected my aim point, aimed a little bit higher and to the left, because I really wanted to smack this cowboy right in the face. Sure enough, I was able to drill him right in the chin. So for this next gunslinger, I bumped it up to five pumps, but I still noticed the first couple shots falling a little bit low and to the right. So I aimed high and left, nailed him right in the head. Just what I like to see. After I took that first shot, I wanted to go ahead and correct the aim point. So here you see I'm re-zeroing my ATN scope by holding where I was aiming and shifting down to where I hit. This next couple of shots was spot on. All right, so I want to take a quick minute to talk about a couple of my sponsors. I'm talking about these pants right here. These are from LA Police Gear. This is LAPG.com. I'll put the link down below. But these are a lot more than just jeans. They've got pockets for things like a full-size magazine right there. You actually have that on both sides. So if you want to put a cell phone in one, it's a super spot for your cell phone. Fits it perfectly. They've got these awesome coin pockets that also work very tactically for like a knife on this side or even a spare mag like I've got over here. Sometimes you don't want to have to go with like a whole tactical belt and all of this, uh, you know, to carry spare mags and so forth. These are like an everyday pant that you can wear. They're super comfortable, yet they give you that tactical advantage should you have to end up carrying a spare mag with you. Or maybe you're just out doing some airsofting and you want to have a spare mag, but you don't want to have to wear a full tactical belt. Whatever your reasons might be for wanting to have a little bit of tactical advantage in your pants, definitely these right here, they've got it going on. LA Police Gear, LAPG.com. Best part about these is that really you're going to spend like the same or less on a pair of really nice tactical, super comfortable, well-made pants spend less or maybe about the same on these than you do on just a nice regular pair of jeans. So this is the way to go. So here we are, the Daisy 880. This shoots BBs and pellets. If you wanna just go the classic BB route, you fill up this little BB hopper right there with up to 50 BBs. Every time you cock that, it's magnetized. It'll suck one onto the little tip there. Push it forward, you've got your BB chambered. Now what you can do is of course pump this 
minimum of two times, but it will fire with one. So I don't think that needs too much more explanation. Let's go ahead and check out how this thing did over the chronograph, shooting some BBs and then a couple of pellets. All right, so there you have some crony numbers. Definitely nice and consistent shooting the BBs at two pumps, five pumps, and the pellets at eight pumps. Putting out just about enough power there to probably take out a pest bird if you're shooting like at your kitchen window or something like that. Probably even a squirrel. Definitely wouldn't take it past 15, maybe 20 yards at the maximum though if you're doing something like that. Just won't quite have the power to reach out much further past that. You can just throw two pumps in it, five pumps, shoot some BBs casually, get decent accuracy. If you wanna step it up, get a little bit more power, a little bit better accuracy, try out some pellets. Definitely, this thing is a lot of fun. This is a classic BB gun, and it's no wonder why it's stuck around for so long. It's just so versatile, so fun to shoot, and really a great way to get the youth out there shooting, enjoying the shooting sports, and doing something besides sitting on the couch playing Minecraft all day long. So there you have it guys. Thank you so much Daisy for sending out the cool gun, ATN for of course supplying the optic to way over scope this guy with. And that is it for today. I'm Ben, I'm outdoors having a whole lot of fun with my air guns. I hope that you are too, and I'll see you next time.